Today I'm going to show you a little bit about uh, submodeling. Submodeling is part of SolidWorks Simulation Professional and Simulation Premium. Uh, this particular example uh, came from one of our customers, Greg Jordan, and he's a consulting engineer. But anyway, this beam right here, this cantilever beam, so this end, this clevis is welded to a wall. This pad right here is mounted to the wall. And there's a force supplied at the end of the beam. And we're concerned about stresses only in this area right here. And not in the beam itself, because the beam, we can pretty much do hand calculations on that and know that this beam is going to be strong enough to handle the load. But now I could also do a remote load. I've got a remote load out here and I'm applying that remote load to the face and the model right here. Uh, some prerequisites for doing submodeling is that I need to have a, either a body or a part. So basically what I'm going to have to do, I need to define components or bodies that I'm going to include in the submodel. In this case, I'm only going to include these models out here on this end. Uh, let's go in here and just to show you a little bit more about the thing, let's explode this. And let's go ahead and hide the, the symbols. And if I look at my results, and you can see my result out here are nice and blue. Also, you can see that I got a real coarse mesh in here because I wanted quick results. Uh, but I see that I do have high stresses in this in this pad eye right here and I want to to do a more detailed analysis on this end of the part so to do a submodeling analysis I can select the study name in the study tree right click on it and create submodeling study and here's a little information about submodeling the do's and don'ts advantages and limitations I'm not going to bother reading all the limitations to you, but you should be able to see it. You can pause the video and read the results or the re read the limitations. Now I need to select the bodies that I want to include in the submodel. So I'll use this body right here. Now this body has got bodies merged together, but it does not include the end of the beam. Include the pin the two clevis plates and that uh, that plate right there. Notice I do not have the the end of the beam selected. And I'll just hit my OK button. Also I should mention that I had my parent study was the one static one study. And now you can see that it's created a new study also in SolidWorks, it created a, a default submodeling configuration. If I go back and look at this study, I've got my global contacts carried over from the previous study, my contact sets. So there's my no penetration contact set between the, this piece and the end of the beam and contacts between the the pin and the clevis and the pad eye. Uh, it also added a fixture called displacements from parent. And basically what it's done, it's actually pulled the displacements from the parent model at that particular face. And it's going to be applying those displacements to load up this submodel also carried over the fixtures so the fixtures that have the pieces welded to the wall and then this is just a slider roller to hold the pin in place and I'm going to go back and well actually I'll just create a, a new exploded view for this sub model
make it easier to to apply some mesh controls to some of these edges faces to get a finer mesh on this model so I'm going to apply some mesh controls and there's my apply mesh control and I'll just select the three whole faces and I want a pretty fine mesh here Just mesh the entire assembly now. Just use the default mesh size. And you can see I've got a real good mesh around the holes. And we'll just run the submodel. And it should solve fairly quick, even though we got a real fine mesh. We got a lot smaller model. So here's my stress plot. Stress plot. See where the max is moved a little bit. Moved to the end, other side of the hole. And it's actually raised it uh, to 245. I think it's 207 PSI. Or 240, 207 KSI before. And now it's 245 KSI. Uh, so that's submodeling for you so you can see where you can uh, zoom in on an area, create a finer mesh, and not have to wait forever and ever for results. I want to thank you for listening.